In this tutorial, we're going to talk about meshes and some of the controls that you have over a mesh in OpenVSP. So to get a mesh, let's click on this fuselage, go to Analysis and Planar Slice, and slice this up. Now, a mesh can come from a variety of sources. It can be imported. You can get it from your analyses. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to talk about some of the things that you can do with a mesh. So if we click on this mesh geometry, on the other tab, you'll see that we can turn the surface mesh on and off, and we can turn the slices on and off. And we also have access to this start color degree button. And all this does is it slides the starting index of the mesh color so that you can change that. Now, because all of these, including the internal slices, are associated with the same mesh, changing this ID is going to change the color of all of them. And you can see that a bit better here if we start moving this around. Notice that it's applying them this way. So these colors are kind of just sliding back and forth as we do this. Now, there are a few things that you can do with a mesh in OpenVSP. You can apply mass properties to it, and you can apply negative volume. You can transform the component. You can rotate it. But you can't apply symmetry because OpenVSP doesn't really have any feature lines or any parameterized surfaces to reflect about anything. But what you can do is adjust the scale. And this becomes very, very important when you're, say, importing something from a CAD system or a CFD system, where maybe the units aren't the same as what you're modeling in OpenVSP. So for example, let's say that a CAD model is using inches as its length unit, and I'm modeling in feet then to adjust the scale factor, we simply say, well, this was in inches. I'm going to divide that by 12 to put it in feet using my smart input and press enter. So my scale factor has brought that down and we can always reset back to one. Now we covered that a little bit in general component information. That was a bit of a reminder. And you know, a mesh can also be attached just like any other component in VSP. The thing is though, because it's not a parameterized component, you can't attach something else to a mesh in UW because it has no UW coordinates associated with it. So we're going to cover some more things that you can do with it in follow-up videos, but for, the, for now, that's enough of an introduction to let you get started.